Hello! In this video, I'd like to introduce you to uh, an online site where you can access a lot of resources that are designed to accompany your curriculum. It's called Pearson SuccessNet, and here you'll find a digital version of your textbook, as well as access to a lot of materials that I'll assign in class to help better prepare you for upcoming assessments that you'll be taking online on a computer. So let's get started. First, you'll need to open your browser and direct it to pearsonsuccessnet.com. Once there, you'll see a login page like this, and appropriately enough, you'll select Login. You'll log in here using credentials I've provided, and upon logging in, you'll find a page that looks a lot like this. Notice here at the bottom we have the bookcase, and that's where currently you'll find the most information. You have a link to student resources and a link to open the book. Now if you click open book, you will access an online version of your textbook. A lot of students prefer that digital version and then may possibly to reference it on their computer screen as a complete work on paper. Now what I'm interested in showing you more of today is student resources. So when you click student resources, you'll see a page like this. Note the arrows the drop-down arrows. So we're going to start, we'll actually skip Discovery Channel videos, but I encourage you to check those out on your own. Chapter 1, because in this, well this week, we are in Chapter 1. You'll have access to a lot of things here that you may not recognize at first. The all-in-one, who knows what that is, but it sounds all-inclusive. Version A and Version B, well we can click the drop-down to get a better idea of what's found in there. Well, daily note-taking guide worksheets, practice, guided problem-solving, and vocabulary. Yeah, there might be something to that. I could see myself assigning some of these at some point. Online resources. Now, this is interesting. If you go to the online resources and well, let's find something. Check the skills you'll need. You might assign one of those. And you check out the check the skills you'll need for lesson one. Well, here you have some problems. And I could assign these in the future. Um, you can select some answer choices, and at the bottom, check answers. And it tells you whether you got them correct or incorrect. So what a great learning tool. You test yourself, you check your answers, and then you learn from, possibly use your resources, ask me, check online, ask a neighbor, or a classmate in the room um, and learn what it is that you need to know to successfully move ahead into that particular section. What I'd like you to focus on are the reteach worksheets. So we'll need to see where would we find the reteach or reteaching worksheet depending on your textbook. Um, online resources? No. I think they're under chapter resources. But hey, there they are, reteaching. So that's pretty easy. And when you click on reteaching, well, you get the reteaching worksheets for the entire chapter. So if I were to assign you reteaching 1.6, well, you could scroll down till you found reteaching 1.6. And you can zoom in and out, command plus and command minus in your browser will enable zooming. And then from here, you can even save and print these worksheets. Now, if you save, you'll likely get options to save um, the whole worksheet or possibly just certain pages of the worksheet. And then printing, you'll find something similar. Now, before we go to printing though, think about why would you like to save a copy of the worksheet to your computer? And printing. For now, I would like you to turn in your worksheets as printed worksheets. In the future, you may have the option of completing the work on separate paper. So you could just look at the worksheet on your screen and complete work on paper. Uh, but for now, I would like you to print the worksheet. That does a lot of good things for us. And now for a quick recap. To access Reteaching Worksheet 1-4 on Pearson SuccessNet, first go to Pearson SuccessNet. Either type in Pearson SuccessNet in the, the URL bar or Omni bar of your browser, or you could click on certain links on your MathQuest knowledge map, which will take you right to Pearson SuccessNet. Um, I'll set that up in order to save you a little bit of time and some typing of 
Pearson SuccessNet. Click login or tap if you're on an iPad. Once the page loads to log in, you'll enter your credentials. My browser remembers that I'm logged in and so it takes me right into the uh, well, the student view here. It says the name. Well, here's the test student account I've set up. Um, and in the future, you'll likely find assigned items. Oh wait, this was a quick recap of finding reteaching worksheet 1.4. Let's do this. Student resources. Chapter 1. That's where we find 1.4. Chapter resources. Reteaching. Boom. Well, almost boom. Hold that boom. And wait for it. And boom. All right, we could print, we could save, but here it is, Reteaching Worksheet 1-4. Thank you.